Mmm, the glare. Okay, so this is Sandeep and he's going to swim in the ba ba Brattleboro River in Vermont. Well, we finished one canoeing session. Ooh. It's, the water's pretty cold since it's uh, October. And he's fully into the water now. He's such a good swimmer, at least according to me, because I don't swim. Ooh. The scene's pretty well good. <laughs> you came here back to the canoe. <sighs> Bye. Okay. Let's go back. Where are we going? Back. back. Okay. Well, I'm being lazy, so he's Sunny's gonna do gonna this do work. this work. Yeah. So his name is Sunny. My name is May. <laughs> Bye bye, big bull. We'll see you next time. I can stay longer, but the water is just too murky. Mm. That's a pretty deep river. Yeah. At least 16 feet. So, what bad thing can you get out of a murky river? Like rashes? No, I just didn't know the characteristic. Like, yeah. So, what's the worst outcome possible outcome that you can imagine right now in your brain? Um, actually, river crocodiles. Oh! <laughs> okay, let's escape. But I actually started thinking about them after I got into the river, and the worst part is I couldn't. You see You can't it. see them, so you can't escape. Yeah. Yeah. And it's not a flowing river, which is like the best spot for an animal. The rule of thumb is any, every time there's something flowing, you're sort of okay. Yeah, and like not flowing river can also be a little poisonous. Yeah. So I was like, you know what, it's fun, but don't stay too long. Okay, so I refuse to swim in the ocean because I'm afraid of shark attacks. And yeah, so swimming in the river is not the solution either because there may be crocodiles. Depends on the river. We don't know this river well enough, so you know. Yeah. So one of the risks. Mm -hmm. so one of the best swimming uh, spots I've came around in Massachusetts so far is the Wadham Pond near uh, Concord or Lexington. Yep. Okay, so I will go back to my canoeing position and do some work too. <laughs> no, just enjoy the view while I heat up my body. Mm. It's actually really fun. Like it, I was super cold. And now I'm like heating it up. Yeah. All and there are place. also single kayaks out there. So when we came here, uh, they were out of double kayaks. That's why we no, chose. No, you were smart and you decided to take a double kayak. <laughs> so someone does so the work I and I <laughs> mm. But also I've been to kayaking once before and I want to try out a new experience. So I, yeah. So you just love water. Chill after a hectic week during your PhD. You take a nice bath, it cools your head. Exactly, like de-stresses some, yeah. This is the noon sun. Hmm, too much.
So one interesting thing to know is that he is kayaking without a life. What's it called again? This life. Yeah, it's a personal flotation device or a PFD or a life jacket. <laughs> okay, life jacket. I just forgot. Um, yeah, so I have to wear one because I can swim but not really well. And he swims really well. So. And I also like breaking rules. So, you know what? Shh. We're not breaking rules. We That's are nice. enjoying a canoe and we'll keep it like that. There's a life jacket on the boat. Yes, there. No, no, no. So we're not breaking rules, any rules, because there's a life jacket for him in the boat as well. If anything happens, he can just grab it with his hand. Yes, and all will be well. All so is well. Slightly twisting the rule. Mm, it's flexible adaptation. Yeah. <laughs> And this is me with a life jacket. Yes, and we are nearing the exit to where we dock our canoe. Where we uh, so we are nearing the exit now where we parked our car. She said that we're going underneath right now. Ooh, poor people kayaking. Yes, and... It's so relaxing to hear the sound of water flowing through. Tree limbs! Ooh, how can I get through this? So, take my hand. Take my hand? Yes. To clear it away. This is a really nice view. I can just stay forever here. I really want to just sit in the middle of the river and look at nice fields. I don't want to go on shore yet. So I'll probably stay in the river for a while. Stay put. Okay, so as I have learned from him today, the difference between a canoe and a kayak is a canoe is a larger uh, boat and it's more physically demanding to uh, navigate a canoe but I think it's totally worth it because the boat is so spacious. So the difference, the reason why canoes are more difficult to navigate uh, to row is that because uh, they have increased surface area to provide the excess stability but because of that you get a lot of drag so you need to actually work harder. <laughs> but Mainly it's this guy over there who is working. <laughs> um, and and price-wise, they're approximately the same. So we can rotate around and try different experiences. I think it's good. And so we tie our canoe here ourselves. We also untied it ourselves. It's a little floating and unstable. And... Ta-da! This is the wrap of our canoe day. We, I think th either this weekend or next weekend is the last, uh, the last weekend. Oh. We okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try the SUP then. I went in for a dip. It was pretty fun. Yeah.